Uh, I hope everybody had a good week and uh, had a good Easter last Sunday. And um, I'll, let me get up a little higher on the stairs and we'll make it. Thank you. But uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful week and uh, the Easter was able to bless them deeply and everything. Um, yesterday I was able to go fishing with my son and I think we had probably about the most successful fishing trip that I've ever had in my life. We caught uh, 26, I guess, all together, uh, rainbow trout and suckers and um, that, that blessing was it, uh, reminded me of some things that Jesus had in the Bible and when he first started his memory, uh, ministry in Mark chapter, or Matthew, excuse me, um, chapter 4, verse 18, and while walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishermen, and he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they, they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James and John, the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called to them immediately. They left the boat and their father and followed him. And later on in his ministry, he was able to use fish again to minister to people. Uh, Mark chapter 6, he fed the 5,000 people. And um, when he was talking with his disciples, uh, he said, you know, he, his heart went out to the crowd and said that he would, we should feed uh, the people. And, he said, and the disciples were like, well, how? We were spending enough money to buy all the food for everyone. That'll cost 200 denarii, which would be many, many weeks, if not months, wages. And so he said, well, just see what you have. And he found somebody that had five loaves and two, and two fishes. And he was able to feed 5,000 people with that blessing. And those, those things like that are just the way that God can even use fish to, to bless so many people. And I just saw that yesterday, you know, I was able to take enough for me to eat and pass the blessing on to others. And I'm sure that many people were filled over what we were able to catch yesterday. But, and so the, all these things were made possible by Jesus and how he came to us and he paid his ultimate price for us and sacrificed his life so that we might be saved. And so I just uh, wanted to reflect on that as we we're beginning the Easter program here, the after Easter program. And uh, we'll just uh, say a word of prayer and then we'll uh, begin our service. Lord, we thank you so much for the blessings that you have given us this week, and we just ask you to just to lay your hands on our um, uh, service this evening. Show us the, your uh, way uh, for those that might still be lost here tonight. I just ask you to touch their heart and to, to open that door uh, so that they might see your love, Lord. And we thank you so much for the wonderful blessings that you have given us and, and for letting us be able to share your, to share your uh, love for us and your name uh, with others. And I just ask you to bless this service and to let us have a good night of fellowship and, and uh, the dinner afterwards. Bless that and uh, let us be able to have a, a good evening and a safe trip home. Sorry. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Amen.